From the beginning, the Lone Star Paralysis Foundation's mission has been to find a cure for spinal cord injury. This was our dream in 2000 when we formed our foundation. And now, the year is 2009, nine years later. How have we progressed in fulfilling our mission? As president of this astounding foundation board of dedicated volunteers, I am proud to say that we are playing an important role in solving one of man's greatest medical challenges, curing paralysis from spinal cord injuries. Through our work with the University Medical Center Brackenridge, UT Southwestern Medical Center, the University of Texas, and other institutions in the spinal cord field, and Calvin Cole of StemSite, the leading collector and developer of umbilical cord blood stem cells, we were fortunate to meet Dr. Wise Young of Rutgers University's William M. Keck Center for Collaborative Neuroscience. I believe that Lone Star Foundation could do a lot to bring therapies to people with spinal cord injury in Texas. And they're very committed to doing this, and I'm very proud to be working with them. On March 13th and 14th, thanks to the generosity of our sponsors and supporters, we sponsored the first Adult Stem Cell and Spinal Cord Treatment Summit right here in Austin. Dr. Young invited the world's leading spinal cord researchers, investigators, and scientists to Austin's University Medical Center at Brackenridge to discuss the details and challenges of conducting the first clinical trials in the United States using adult stem cells. Texas was sort of left behind, or at least they felt that. So now they're no longer left behind. We're going to do a stem cell therapy, test it in a rigorous clinical trial, and Brackenridge is going to be one of the hospitals that will do this. We're going to uh, talk about um, the, the, the best science possible for the cure of spinal cord injury. Thanks. Brackenridge Medical Director Dr. Tom Cavan played host to fellow medical professionals and scientists, and Brackenridge is now working towards becoming one of the five major spinal cord injury medical centers in the North American Spinal Cord Injury Network. Furthermore, due in part to the summit, Brackenridge is now in a position of leadership, helping design this groundbreaking clinical trial. While much progress has already been made in China in proving the methods developed by Dr. Young and his staff, there remains much work still to do here in the United States to get this clinical trial underway. Scheduled for 2010, a total of 30 participants with spinal cord injuries will be selected by each medical facility in the network. These participants will receive varying combinations of one, umbilical cord blood stem cell injections, a procedure that at this moment is being studied and enhanced in China by the Brain and Spine Center's Dr. Craig Kemper, two, lithium, and three, a rehabilitation and recovery regiment co-designed by our own Dr. Charlotte Smith of UMC Brackenridge. You know, everybody that I've talked to, um, especially in the local area and even surrounding cities, they plan to come here, you know, Saturday for the big open house to participate with this and just kind of hear and see what's going on. Probably the most exciting component of the summit was the open house. Because the hopes of more than 250,000 spinal cord injured Americans are now riding on such a cure as envisioned by Dr. Young and his staff, the Lone Star Paralysis Foundation, UMC Brackenridge, and StemSite, who is providing the adult stem cells for the trials, hosted an open house to close the summit. 268 souls, including spinal cord injured family and friends, filled the main auditorium at Children's Hospital campus. This was perhaps the first time any of these folks have actually learned that a cure might be at hand. Dr. Young, one of the world's most respected scientists, gave everyone the vision that he sees, that we can one day get you out of your chair. That's the least we can do for you. It was a thrilling moment for all of us who attended the open house. The Lone Star Paralysis Foundation is proud to have been the sponsor, and we will continue to support the leading edge spinal cord injury recovery work being done now at the Brackenridge Brain and Spine Recovery Center. Before too long, Lone Star will be working actively to support these clinical trials with Dr. Young. For all of us at the Lone Star Paralysis Foundation, we appreciate your continued and enthusiastic support. And you know what? With your help, we might just get this thing done. We certainly can't do it without you.